what is the value of x given that you have 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of x equals 24. Then let's have it to be solution. Let us recall that when we have a times a always equals a to the power of 2. So from here we have 4 to the power of x and parentheses to the power of 2 equals 24. Then when we have a to the power of n to the power of n, we can interchange the power as, or we can multiply the power as a to the power of m times n. So from here, when we apply to this, so we are going to have 4 to the power of 2x equals 24. Then the next thing we can do from here is to introduce log to both sides of this expression. So we are going to have it to be log 4 to the power of 2x equals log 24. Then when we have log a parameter p to the power of m, we can have m in base as m multiplied by log p back. So here also we can have here to be 2x times log 4 equals log 24. So let's divide through by this log 4 to get the positive value of x. So when we divide through by log 4, definitely this will cancel this. We have 2x equals log 24 over log 4. Then also, at this point, we can have 24 as the product of 4 times 6. So if we try to substitute this one here, we are going to have 2x equals log 4 times 6 over log 4. Then let's recall from the property of log. When we have a log, log of open parentheses a times b always equals as log a plus log b. So from here, we cannot have this as 2x equals log 4 plus log 6 over log 4. And let us recall something. That when we have a parameter p plus m over n, such that p, m, n are constant, we can have this as p over n plus m over n. So likewise, happen to this log 4, log 6, log 4 is a cost, a constant. So we can have this as 2x equals log 4 divided by this log 4. log 6 divided by this log 4. So from here we have 2x equals log 4, we cancel log 4 will be 1 plus log 6. We can also have 6 as the product of 3 times 2 over log 4. From what from what We've learned from the above, we can have this as 2x, 1 plus log 3 plus log 2, each divided by log 4. We can have it from here. So from here, we have 2x. 1 plus, we can have this as log 3 divided by log 4 plus log 
2. We can have 4 here as in base 2. So this will be log 2 to the power of 2. Then we have 2x, 1 plus log 3 over log 4. Then this will be log 2. Here will be 2 multiplied by log 2. So this man will cancel this out. So here will be 1 over 2 plus this. So, so from here we have 2x. This will be 3 over 2 plus log 3 over log 4. Then let us recall when we have log A over log B always equals as when we have log A in base B. So this will be 2x 3 over 2 plus log 3 in base 4. So dividing through by 2 so this, we cancel out this. So we are going to have x to be 3 over 2 plus log 3 in base 4. I'll divide by 2. And this is the value of x. So now to check... We have... 4 to the power of s times 4 to the power of s equals 24. And we've simplified this further to be 4 to the power of 2x still equals 24. We have the value of x to be 4 to the power of 2. So from here, we have 3 over 2 plus log 3 in base 4. Then all divide by 2 from here. Is it going to give us 24? Mind you, this and this we cancel out. So we have 4 to the power of 3 over 2 plus log 3 in base 4. Then is it going to give us 24? When we have a to the power of m plus n, equals as a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So this will be 4 to the power of 3 over 2 times 4 to the power of log 3 in base 4. Then it's going to give us 24. So when we have this, we can have 2 in base 2. This will give us 4 to the power of 3 over 2 times 4 to the power of 4 log 3 in base 4. This is going to give us 24. From here, this we cancel out this. We have 2 to the power of 3. Then from here, when we have a to the power of log b in base a, the output of this will be b. So far, they have the same base and we have log. The same base, we have log and this, we have 3. Then it's going to give us 24. Eight to the, 2 to the power of 3 is 8 times 3, which equals 24. So from here, 24 equals 24. And so therefore, since the left-hand side equals to the right-hand side, so this implies the value we got here is correct.